One. Oh, last yeah, season, yeah, last yeah, episode. Yeah. Episode eight. Hello, Number show. eight, baby. Welcome, guys. Happy Monday. It's our last week of school. June 8th, remember, 9, 10, 11, we got locker cleanouts for the 9th graders, 10th graders, and 11th graders. Seniors, you guys come anytime you want. Uh, we're thrilled to be bringing the last episode of the Hello Show to you. I think we have a fun one involved. Uh, I'm going to toss it over to Mr. Terrell uh, for a new game we got this week. What, what's going on, Mr. Terrell? Well, first of all, I just want to say, how sharp are we with these hats? Dang, we had, we had jerseys last week. We got hats this week. <laughs> Look at Man us. alive. I mean, we are just really doing great. Um, cool. You guys want to play a game? Yes. Heck yeah. Gosh. And we have any, can we have, can we have some guests for this game, please? Yeah, I don't know if I, I want to play another game with just you two guys. Let's bring in some company. What do you guys think? I yeah, think that's a wonderful idea. Let's so do it. We have some very special guests joining us today. We have Mr. and Mrs. French. Hey. And Mr. and Mrs. Van Wy. You're telling oh. me we have two married couples on our staff? That's a, that's insane. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, <laughs> my. I caught us reading the dictionary. Sorry. Oh, well, welcome to hello, the Hello Show. We are so glad you could join us. <laughs> Just a little light reading there, huh? Yeah. yeah. You know. <laughs> it's yeah. actually my third time going through. Oh, good. Oh. Good. good. It's a surprise ending every time. <laughs> um, you guys remember the newlywed game? Do. No, absolutely not. You guys, Mr. and Mrs. French cannot. I was going to say, they're a little young. Yeah, well, I mean, I didn't watch it. Maybe on, like, YouTube. Turner Classic TV show. Wow. Make no. <laughs> it nice. Here's a bonus point. Uh, can you guys name the host of the Newlywed Game? Oh. I don't Sorry, I, I threw a curveball, fellas. <laughs> yeah. Is... Did you reference it earlier? No. <laughs> no. I don't know. Maybe, oh, yeah. I don't know if that's right or not. <laughs> I don't know. I just went up what you said. I, I had uh, Wink Mr. Martindale in my head. I think is it, it's is Wink Martindale. Somebody? I think wow. it is Wink Martindale. As Mr. Terrell introduces the game, I'll find out. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so basically, this is how we've got it set up. We have some questions um, that our, our teachers, who are also spouses, will be able to answer. The first round of questions are worth one point each. Um, and it's based on that uh, Instagram filter where there's a question posted and then you point at the person in your relationship that it, that it describes best. Um, so we'll, go, we'll, we'll do that. And then the second round is a more traditional newly bed game questions where yesterday on the lowdown, I sent questions to um, both Mrs. French and Mrs. Van Wy. And they answered it. And now I'm gonna ask the gentlemen in the relationships um, if they can answer the same question, and we're going to see if there are any matches. I'm very excited. <laughs> I am too. <laughs> it's going to be really great. <laughs> it's going to be so fun. So who's, uh, uh, Mr. Miller, are you the uh, first question? Yeah. I believe I am, Mr. Right, let's Terrell. Get it rocking. Let's get it rocking. All right. Uh, French, gonna... French is you can go first. All right. <laughs> same question. Mm -hmm. We'll go to both couples, though. Who's answering the question, Mrs. French? On this Mrs. first this round? This one they have both have to answer. Just, okay. Yeah, we'll, we'll do like a three, two, one point. All okay. right, Mr. That? and Mrs. French, please tell me who is most likely to deal with a spider in your household? Mm -hmm. uh, All right. All right. That's because I'll just let them go. <laughs> she lets them space in the house as well. Be okay. free. I have a different philosophy, unfortunately, for the spider. <laughs> Jackie and Gabe, same question. Yep. yep. Oh, sorry, guys. Three, two, one point. Oh, there we go. Oh. <laughs> uh -huh. Because I like to catch them and chase the kids around the house with spiders. <laughs> Endless entertainment lockdown. Yeah. yeah. I haven't thought about that yet, but thank you for that new activity at the Terrell household. <laughs> Um, all right, I have question number two. Uh, we'll go reverse order. So Van Wise, you're up first. Um, who gives better advice? Three, two, one, point. <laughs> Very good. Very good. Frenches, you're up. Same question. Better advice. Three, two, one, point. Oh. Uh, uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> you're looking at me. No. Yeah. Just be, okay. 
Oh, all right. Uh, question number three. French is you're up first. Okay. Who is more sarcastic? Three, two, one point. <laughs> Easy. Down. Easy. Yeah. All right, Van Wise, same question. Three, two, one, point. <laughs> <laughs> All righty. Mr. Miller, back to you. Back to me. All right. Uh, we started with the French's last time, right? Yep. So we'll start with Mr. and Mrs. Van Wy. Uh Question number four. Who has better handwriting? Three, two, one. Oh. <laughs> ah. <laughs> I knew the answer to that one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Katie's had to try to read my handwriting. <laughs> yeah. All right, I work with I work with Mr. Terrell. His is pretty equal. <laughs> except, hey, I except for last best. week's, yeah, I'm, I'm excited to show last you. Last week's Google challenge was much much better. You did a nice job, Mr. Terrell. Get the sign. <laughs> so, and before I ask Mr. and Mrs. French uh, question number four, I want Mr. Terrell and Ms. Redmond to think of the answer that they're going to have. In your head, because I got one too. All right. Okay. Mr. and Mrs. French, who has a better handwriting? Three, two, one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Easy. And I would argue also. that Mr. Terrell, if you and I and Miss Redmond had to do this question, we would probably point at Miss Redmond. She's above oh, me. I don't. I was. I, I think you like have pretty nice handwriting, pretty, Mr. And, Miller. You, yeah, you have pretty good penmanship. Yeah. I feel like. I just feel like usually females uh, have better penmanship than males. I have something to say here. Your <laughs> handwriting on the whiteboard is worse than your handwriting on a notepad. And my yeah. handwriting on a notepad is worse than my handwriting on a whiteboard. Interesting. And you know why? I think it's because I'm tall and like the whiteboards are usually low. So it's hard to write low. There's so much more gravity. All the blood runs out of your hand. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. It falls asleep. Okay, okay. Number five. Question number five. Who's next? Uh, I got this one. And who's up first? I think it's the Frenches. Yep. 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 Okay. Uh, Frenches, who is more organized? Three, two, one, go. Nice. <laughs> and wise, who's more organized? Three, two, one, go. Nice. I feel yeah. like this is a similar to the handwriting thing. <laughs> yeah. It falls into the female. They category. go hand in hand. Yeah. Very good. Oh, I think Mr. Terrell might agree with that one. <laughs> well, I don't know. I think he's probably pretty, at least clean. Yeah. He's, he's organized and... Tidy. Tidy. Thank you. Yeah. A place uh, for everything is, and everything in its place. It is four go. to five at the end of round one. Oh, who's leading? The Van Wise have five. Van Wise, okay. five for five. All right. All right. We are moving to round two. So again, <clears throat> gentlemen, your wife answered these questions yesterday. And I might They are worth add, two points. Yes. Mm -hmm. points the, each. the point total is double in this, yes. in this, in this <laughs> round, guys. So buckle up. Uh, be prepared. Am Not I number one? So no, I am. Them? No, Katie, okay. then, then you, then me. Yes. Okay. All right. Uh, uh, who's up first? Van Wise, I think, are up first. Um, which Disney character is your spouse most like? So, uh, Mr. Van Wy, what do you think your wife said about you? Tell me. I'm gonna go Pixar. I'm gonna go. Um, I'm gonna go. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I think oh, we need to just stay. Let's just stay to Disney characters. <laughs> let's just stick to Disney oh. characters. So it can't be Pixar. <laughs> well, it could be. It I, I think he's trying Mr. to give Van you a Wyatt. clue. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go Donald Duck because I have three kids, and I can't curse around them, so I speak in duck language <laughs> when I get angry. That's awesome. Uh, Miss Van Wy, would you like to reveal the correct answer? Sure. <laughs> um, I said Goofy. Uh, but Close. Because Goofy movie, you know, he's like your regular dad and has the foibles of your regular dad and yeah. Mr. Van Dyer. Right. Okay, I'll take it. There's I'll take it. <laughs> nice parallels. All right, uh, all right, Mr. French, which Disney character did Mrs. French say that you were most like? Mm -hmm. It's got to be somebody that's clumsy um, <laughs> and like tall, tall, clumsy. You know what? Van Wy took my guess. I'm going goofy. <laughs> All right, Miss French, what is the answer? 
So, <laughs> miss clarification. I thought it was supposed to be me. Okay, okay. So flip it. Flip it. I'll flip it. So, I'll flip it. That's fine. Yeah. Flip it. All my questions. I it. thought it was he was guessing me. That's good. Bad Jen. insult for me. Just flip it. Okay, we'll flip it. All right. So, okay. who is me. she most like? Yeah, there you fine. go. Great question. Uh, easy. This is going to be super easy. I'm going to go Ariel. Oh. <laughs> we were Ariel for Halloween one time. <laughs> All right. And the correct answer is? Yeah. Uh, Winnie the Pooh, because my nickname growing up as a little kid was Pooh Bear. My parents okay. still call me that. So Disney? you hear it all the time. Yeah, it's Disney, the wonderful world of Disney. Is this is just like the TV show. It's so great. <laughs> you gotta watch Pooh Bear. Oh. <laughs> oh, all right. Well, uh, no points for question one. Moving on <laughs> to question two. Yeah. We're still three, four. Three, four? I'm four. Uh, four, five. Four, five. Okay. Yeah. Good. I got, do I have number two? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Who did we start with? We started with the Van Wise last time? Yeah, so it's French's. Uh -huh. All right. Mr. and Mrs. French, here we go. I'm guessing. Uh, question number two, Miss French. Oh, did you answer this one or did, did TJ it's, answer? It's how he thinks Mrs. French would answer. Okay, tell me, Mr. French, how do you think your wife would answer this question? Okay. If your husband could only eat one food for the rest of their life, what would it be? So you, right? No, you. She's saying if she thought if you could eat, how would you reply? I would go pizza. Uh, okay. Should we wait to should we should we wait to reveal or uh, maybe let's after? wait to reveal? Yeah, let's yeah, wait. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Mr. and Mrs. Van Wy, you guys ready to go? If if uh, your husband could only eat one food for the rest of their life, what would it be? Okay, this is tr it's tough. I'm gonna give you a quick background, real quick. Oh, yeah. when when my wife and I met and started dating, uh -huh. I was a bachelor. My entire food every single day, I'd go to Costco. I'd buy the giant box of frozen corn dogs, the box of frozen barren pizzas, and boxes of Pop-Tarts. Every single day I woke up and only ate Pop-Tarts in the morning. I ate frozen <laughs> corn dogs every day for lunch, and then I had a frozen pizza. So when we got married and she was like all about baking and cooking, I uh -huh. put on 20 pounds in the first month of our marriage and started like just going full puffy. And so I, I am not a food connoisseur, if she puts food in front of me, if if I have a choice of not frozen pizza, I'm I'm happy. So what, I what would you choose? Yeah. I don't. I don't I so how, well, you sum up that question. statement. <laughs> avoiding the question. Get back down to a nutshell. Yogurt. Every day, <laughs> yogurt. <laughs> Just yogurt. I have one before Fuck. I reveal answers. I, Mr. Van White, when you eat your corn dogs, do you have like mustard on them? No, I, I throw them in a microwave until they're a little bit like rubbery, and I just. Yeah, do you put any condiments? No condiments. Mustard? Oh, no. That's mm. just plain, huh? Nothing helps a frozen Costco corn dog. <laughs> no, <laughs> no mayonnaise. No. 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 It's, right, Mister. Okay, Mister French. Yeah. So you Soup. <laughs> That's what we had, right? Mister Van Wy, we had spaghetti. <laughs> that was like two. That's what I asked, and they said no. Uh, well. What my answer would be for him is I would have thought you would have said my delicious food that I make, like the uh, Latin food, beans and rice that you ask oh. for every night. But apparently frozen pizza is what he likes. So I'm learning a lot about uh, your appreciation for my cooking. I didn't say frozen pizza. <laughs> <laughs> but frozen pizza, he's wrong. Oh, we're both wrong. Frozen pizza isn't bad. Either way. Isn't bad. After we're done with the Today Show, is there like marriage counseling for us? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, we'll work that in. All right. Uh, Mr. and Mr. Mr. Terrell. Terrell, you can call Miss Lindgren, and Van Wise, you can call Mr. Brugman. <laughs> <laughs> you got to tell the Van Wise what the right answer was. Yeah. I did. Oh, it was spaghetti. Spag spaghetti. 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 I would do that every, yeah. <clears throat> I'm making an executive decision to skip the next question, because it's pretty close to the one we just did. Got you. We also asked your uh, significant others, what's the best thing they do in the kitchen? Like, what's the best meal they make in the kitchen? 
and both yeah. and both of them said everything that they make is great. See? And yeah. I, that's, that's a great awesome. answer. Yeah. That was awesome. Not, <laughs> not wanting either of you to accidentally venture into the frozen corn right. like area. Yeah, I, appreciate that. <laughs> I think we'll just go right on to number four. So I'm going to start this one, and I'm going to ask the Van Wys first. All right. Okay. Um, Mr. Van Wy, if your wife was on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire, who would her phone a friend be? Her friend Gina. Okay, and same question to you, Mr. French. Just to clarify, once again, am I saying- it's who I. Who you would, would pick. Choose. She's yes. on Who right. Wants to Be a Millionaire, who's her phone a friend? Who would she call? She would call her dad. Okay, interesting. Oh. One of the couples is correct. Do we have a tie ball game right now? No. No, no I think the gap just got wider because yeah. Gina is the correct oh. answer. <laughs> And Mrs. Oh, French <laughs> said, Mr. French. Yeah, yeah, she said she would call you. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Mr. French left the, Mr. French left the game. He unites because of him. He's real good. You should, you're so good at trivia. Uh, I appreciate the compliment, honey, but uh, <laughs> call your dad. Yeah. Uh, he doesn't know any mother and me. Oh, uh, I was watching a celebrity who wants to be a millionaire the other day. Okay. And it was Anderson Cooper, and he was going for the million dollar question, and he didn't know the answer. And he called his phone a friend, and they ran out of time. And so he ended up backing out of the question, but then they called him back after he backed out, and his phone a friend knew the answer. Oh, oh damn. Gosh. Oh, it was very sad, but he still got $500,000 for his charity. Oh, well. Right. Question number five. Frenches, you're first. No. On a road trip, your spouse heads into a gas station for snacks. Mm. What are they bringing out? Is it just one thing? Who answered this one? Did Mrs. I answered French? both, actually, on that yeah. question. Just There's I a list for both, so if you hit it at all, we'll count it. So uh, either one of you. How many things can I say then? If there's a list. As many as you want. Well, no, that's not true. Well, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let's right, three things. Three things? Yeah. 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 Three things? yeah. Okay, you're going into the gas station, right? And you're picking stuff out on the road trip. Right? Mm -hmm. Okay. First thing, coffee. Second thing, road chips, potato chips, barbecue. Uh, the third thing, Reese's cups. Ooh, all good choices. All right. Van Wise? Anything at the checkout counter that I can grab quickly <laughs> and vanilla Coke. Vanilla? Oh. vanilla? You said vanilla, vanilla Coke? Coke? Vanilla Coke, Coke. Oh. and all of the impulse buying jerkies and candies. Oh. And, yeah. and it's too general. M&M's. M&M's as well. Okay. Yeah. All right. I don't have the answers in front of me, so you're going to have to tell me if they're right. <laughs> Go for it, Mr. Terrell. I do. Uh, we're going to award points to both couples on this one. Definitely yeah. peanut butter and chocolate for the Frenches, because Mr. French said Reese's peanut butter cups, correct? Yeah. And Van Wy's uh, M&M's was part of the equation oh. there. So a good answer. Split the uprights. Well done. I know we and don't have just a tie. And compliment you on ending on a, on a positive note. <laughs> I know we don't have a tie, but can we still ask the tiebreaker question because it's fun? Absolutely, we should. <laughs> Whose turn is it? Uh, it's, it's Mr. Miller's turn. All right. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to uh, ask this question out loud, and then I'll, I'll ask one of the two couples to give me their answer first, and then second. All right? So you guys can think about it. We'll have a little private reasoning time for ourselves, okay? All right, here we go. Tiebreaker question. In seconds... What is the longest amount of time that your spouse will let food sit on the ground and still eat it? <laughs> we'll give ourselves 10 seconds. Can I add something? Seven, yeah, go for it. Five. Outside. Ooh. You're not in so your like, house. No, so like camping, not camping. on a sidewalk. Right. Camping or sidewalk, I'd, uh, I'll let you determine that. <laughs> you know, the, is, there, right. is there a box Tell involved? Yeah, like, we should have a drawing box, but box or like a basket. I don't know how to do have that. On the floor. No, no, like on the ground. I think is the question. The okay, straight up on the ground. Oh, we have another guest joining us today. Uh, Avery Carroll is in the house. That's right, Miss Carroll. <laughs> Last episode. Everybody visiting. You want to say hello? I'm recording right now. Hi. All right. See you hello. Later. Okay. <laughs> 
Mr. and Mrs. Van Wy, in seconds, what is the longest amount of time your spouse will let food sit on the ground and still eat it? Zero. He's a germ phobe. He will not. <laughs> okay. He will not. Good. <laughs> good. That's a good Mr. answer. Mr. and Mrs. French, in seconds, what is the longest amount of time your spouse will let food sit on the ground and still eat it? So you answered for me, just to be clear. I, no, this is just, we just got This it. is just, we didn't, we didn't give him this question. Okay. I'm gonna say for you, okay. outside, okay. Uh, 20 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> Do you agree? <laughs> no, I, I mean, oh. here's the thing. If we're talking like hitting cement, depending upon what it is, I'll, I'll pick it up. But, you know, if you're giving me 20 seconds, I'm going to give you a good amount of time to leave, forget about it, and see it, and come back. And if you're hungry enough, that is going to be looking at hours. <laughs> yeah. candy, a hard candy on the ground, he'll go back for it. Sure. <laughs> yeah. Hard to waste. <clears throat> I would say so, she got uh, We have a final score of nine to six with the Van Wise coming in as the newlywed game champions of the Hello Show. Um, yeah. Awesome. This was super fun. Proof uh, of a long marriage. That's yeah. right. <laughs> you are all welcome to stay around for the rest of the Hello Show. We've got just a couple things to get through, and then we'll get to our other favorite episode or we'd, segment. We'd love to hear your quarantine tracks <laughs> if you want to stay stay put. You just can't choose stronger by Britney Spears. That's Mr. Heck Terrell's no. weekly track. You can <laughs> you claim that. That song is sweet. sharing. Right, it's time for some news you can use. Oh. Uh, oh, we got a little newspaper, magazine article this week. Yeah. Uh, as Mr. Miller mentioned at the top of the show, we are doing return and locker clean out this week. Uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Freshmen on Tuesday, sophomores on Wednesday, juniors on Thursday, seniors, you can come anytime. Bring your books, uniforms, instruments, anything that needs to come back to the school, clean out your locker, your PE locker, all that stuff. Let's get it taken care of so we can wrap up the year successfully. Hope to see you this week. And just to kind of piggyback a little bit on what Miss Redmond was saying, if you guys have a conflict on a date, you guys are, are supposed to come in and drop things off. Please don't hesitate to reach out to that Stillicum HS office at stillicum.k12waus. Sorry about the long email, uh, but we will absolutely make uh, accommodations to get you guys in and get things cleared out. So uh, the three admin, Ms. Redmond, myself, Mr. Terrell will be in uh, through the end of the month. So if you guys can't make one of those days for whatever reason, please don't hesitate to reach out. We'll, we'll, we'll accommodate to that. And, and also, uh, this is it, guys. This is the last week. We're on Monday, June 8th right now. Uh, eight, nine, 10, 11, four days left. So uh, we can't say enough how much we appreciate everyone staying involved with their teachers and the parents reaching out with questions. So uh, keep it up. We got four days. We're just, um, we, we talk all the time about how much we're impressed with our students' efforts. And uh, this is our last week. So June 11th, Thursday, here we go. We're going to take care of our ASB elections um, and class elections when we come back in the fall. Um, so we had some conversations with kids and with our ASB advisory, Ms. Eastman, this week. We just want to make sure everybody's on the same page. You will have an opportunity to vote for your class officers as well as uh, vote for our, kind of our school-wide officers. If you're not from the Northwest, ASB is an associated student body, and it's just the leadership group that kind of governs student activities for the school. So we'll take care of voting for both of those people uh, or groups when we return to school in whatever fashion in September. Uh, if you have been coming to the school to pick up lunches, you can do that through the end of the month. The last day to pick up food at school is June 30th. Um, so just make sure you make note of that, but we would love to continue to be able to provide lunch for you. So uh, all the way through the end of the month, it will be, will be there to do that for you. So. <laughs> <laughs> One. It's close. <laughs> uh, I did your I did your last announcement for you, Mr. Carroll. Uh, Which one? 
the food. Food's available through June 30th. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Uh, it's time for shout out. Shout out. Shout out. Shout out. Do you guys know what today is? It's so appropriate that we have dogs on the screen because right. it's, it's National Best Friends Day today. Yay! Yeah, it's so exciting. The origin of National Best Friends Day is not known. They don't know who started it, but it happens to be June 8th. And you should call up your best friend and let them know how important they are to you. Write them a letter, send them a card, have some popcorn with them. We're in phase two. Whoop, whoop. Nice. Time to celebrate. Number two, national, international jelly donut day. Wow. Ooh. It's happening today, okay. June 8th. You could share uh, a jelly donut with your friend. Man, jelly donuts are the best. I prefer uh, Boston cream. Although yeah, buddy. I also like um, the raspberry fillings, but it originated in the Netherlands. So that's kind of cool to think about. And um, they were donuts, obviously, that didn't have holes in them. Uh, enjoy a jelly donut. Do you like lemon? Not as much. I'm not going to eat a lemon one. I don't think. If I knew it was lemon, I wouldn't eat it. Really? Mm. Yeah. Do you? Yeah, man. Any sort of filled donut is my jam. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. If you, you can take those maple bars though. and chuck it in the trash. Oh, you oh, don't like uh, maple bars, huh? Those are, those are fighting oh. words, Mr. Terrell. <laughs> <laughs> so, Mr. Right. Terrell. If you could choose, give me like, a big old apple just... fritter and put it on the put it on the ground and walk oh. away. And I'll probably I'll probably come up and you know, come come you later. <laughs> I have a little Christina Aguilera's dangerous plan. <laughs> wrong, <laughs> wrong, <laughs> wrong. Okay, sorry. All right. Sometimes when you eat a lot of donuts, maybe you're like me. You get you get pretty parched. You get thirsty. Miss Redmond, wetting her whistle right now. This is a wonderful week to do that with lemonade. Do you know why? It's National mm. Lemonade Week. Oh. So if you see a kid, school's getting ready to be out, they're on the corner, they're trying to make a nickel, selling a you know glass of lemonade, that's just water and like one lemon and a bunch of sugar, pull over and give them a fiver and buy as much as they have and wash it down because it's a delicious treat for you. Share it with a friend, eat it with a jelly donut, this is the first time where our shout outs have all been like part of, you have a picnic. It should be Ooh. National Picnic Week. But no more than five people. More than I five. mean, let's be responsible. <laughs> well, if you're outside, I think you can have 10. Like, sure. Look you at the have... CDC, go to the CDC website and find <laughs> out what the recommended group gathering size limitations are for your area. And then get a donut, a friend, and lemonade. Perfect. Maybe a, maybe a blanket. And Sounds just have like, yourself a great time. It sounds like a great oh. way to wrap up the school year. Awesome. Mm -hmm. All right. It's officially time for the last segment oh. of Quarantine Tracks. We made it. We did it. I'm, I'm excited for someone to put together our Spotify list. I honestly couldn't tell you all the songs I picked. Well, it's only <laughs> going to be, what is this, week eight? Yeah. Yeah. It's 16. So it's only going to be 17 tracks. No, no, because we had uh, Mr. Overgaard on one, one week. Okay. 18. 18. And then okay. we have some extras to add today, which is nice. Uh, if someone wants to do that, you can go to our YouTube channel and rewatch every episode. Should you, you know, mm. need something to do over the summer if you're missing us? Yep, uh, we got a know, playlist now. We need some memories. So uh, I think I get to start us off. Mm -hmm. uh, this week was really hard for me to pick a song. I was feeling all sentimental and emotional that it's the last week of school and our seniors have graduated and. I was gonna do uh, a throwback from like my eighth grade year, uh, Vitamin C, the graduation song, uh -huh. for those yeah. of you who remember that. What uh, year is that? Not, uh, none of these kids were born and they won't even know what that is. That's like 97. 99, 99. 99. <laughs> awesome, awesome. So, uh, and that I was, went with, you were graduating from? Uh, eight, I wasn't even graduating school. from anything. Yeah. I graduated middle school. from eighth grade in 2000. <laughs> Arbor Heights. No, that's an elementary school. I went to Copachuck. Copachuck. Okay. I was just checking. All right. Copachuck Coyotes. Ah. Uh, anyway, so I went with a little bit more recent song, but still on the sentimental side. So here we go. Mm -hmm. 
little instrumental, sorry. It's been a long day. Really Puth? You, my friend. <laughs> oh, look at this. <laughs> is this John Mayer? No, it's not it. John Mayer. Stop it. Fury 7. <laughs> so I just, huh. I miss all of you. I miss everyone. And so I just was thinking, like, I can't wait to see you all again. And just thought it was really fitting and a great way to wrap up the year. And we're so hopeful that we get to see you in the fall. So. I'm a little teary-eyed fighting my song this week. Uh-oh. Sorry, my Mr. Song. Miller. Man. Are you having trouble with your 8-track? I'm trying it. I am. I am. <laughs> <laughs> all right. I'm going to just put it on. All right. So, um, uh, Jimmy Fallon. We all know who Jimmy Fallon is, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, his house band. Anyone know who that is? Roots. The Roots. The Roots. Yes. My favorite. Uh, Probably my favorite group of all time. Uh, I think this time last year I saw them in Portland, Oregon, and then uh, this weekend I saw them in <clears throat> Bend. So we followed them. My brother and I love them. Uh, so since our uh, summer's starting here on Thursday, the 11th, we have next weekend uh, to have all sorts of. Lazy afternoons. So, if you never heard of them, look them up. They're dynamite. And <laughs> they play every weeknight on Jimmy Fallon. That's pretty I would good. have to watch that via my DVR because I'm sleeping. At too, that late, time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's too late, yeah. It's way past my bedtime. <laughs> All right, Mr. Terrell. I mean, you don't run 24 and a half miles of a marathon and stop. <laughs> you don't finish your analogy without knowing where you're going to go. So when that happens, you just... Eight for eight. Eight for eight. Is it? It's this one, right? This is it's Britney Spears. This one. There she is. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Doesn't that tell you stronger? I mean, is that the point of quarantine tracks is something that motivates you, correct? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Those yeah. Uggs are and sweet. I just can't. I can't think of a better way to go out than than the girl Britney. <laughs> oh, man. All right. I can. Let's go on to Mr. and Mrs. French. <laughs> 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 no, I, we're, I we're combined. Yeah. Well, I've uh, chosen a nice little tune. Uh, if there's any students out there watching, you know, I've played this song many, many times during a little. I know what it is. Little review game that I like to play. This is just a reminder uh, in this review game that uh, I've I've always won the game. So just you know, <laughs> you. Uh, <laughs> This is by a little band called the Quad City DJs. Yeah! <laughs> Ooh, a matching coffee mug! Let's get a coffee mug. I used to have a Space Jam jersey. Yeah, my kids love that movie. It's is, so uh, great. Is the uh -huh. remake coming out? Is it that what I hear? Remake right. confirmed LeBron James. Uh, I think mm -hmm. of next year, maybe the year after. Oh man, it's gonna be great. <clears throat> you still gonna have Marvin the Martian, right? I might yeah, still better. have a T-shirt at my parents' house with Marvin. <laughs> yeah, he's the referee, I think. Yeah. yeah. Excellent <laughs> choice. That is a great choice. All right, Van Wise, <laughs> take us home. All right. Well, mine is inspired by all of our quarantine diets and wardrobes. Mm -hmm. And this is a song that every time I hear or play, I can't help but dance. And my kids know the song and it's super quirky. Um, and I did play it for one of my classes first semester and half of them loved it. Half of them were super weirded out and left on the last day of the semester. Like, 
I don't know that I ever want to step foot in Mrs. Van Wy's classroom again. So um, it is Tight Pants, Body Rolls by Leslie Hall. <laughs> I was walking through the forest of moccasin bread When I saw a troll boy wearing tight pants I want to own them But can you in this That is awesome. I think that is a perfect quarantine track. Oh yeah. All right. Well, this is it. End of season one of the Hello Show. Eight episodes. Eight episodes. Season one in the books. That's right. That's right. Well, we hope that you all had a, a great end to the school year. We're super proud of all of the work that you put in and all the dedication of our students and our staff uh, to get us to this point. We know it definitely was not what we had planned for the end of the school year. But thanks for, for persevering and working hard and getting the work done. Uh, we hope that you have a wonderful summer, and we hope to see you guys this week for drop-off and locker clean-out. Um, stay strong, Sentinels. Mr. and Mrs. Guys. French, Mr. and Mrs. Van Wyde, thank you so much for being here today. I appreciate you guys. All right.